glances around. He's looking for the target. Does he find anything? This is not good. Sparkle will be able to bring back her yes. teammate. So they'll be competing in this one. They'll be competitive, I should say, rather. Yet again, Glasgow waiting for the opportunity. You got to watch out for that AI, by the way. They'll, they'll, they'll take you out. Man, the Reaper character there, ready to fight. Someone must have accidentally tagged him because he's ready to go. And hey, you got to watch out, man. The Reaper is back. He's old school. He's chapter one, man. You kind of get him going. He's going to be on an attack right now. But Hey, Graham Glasgow is back on the feet right now, but shout out to the team Sparkles who are currently sitting in 18th place and uh, making that shift from playing with an iPad on mobile to playing on PC. And he's a great player. You know, he's got the skill, he's got the awareness, he's got the talent. Unfortunately, he's got no teammates, so maybe he could figure it out and uh, get himself out of that shambles position. For right now, though, Ducky the Gamer is uh, going to be quack quacking his way out of there as far as though our top players are concerned. You got Booga. This squad was in fourth place at one point. They're looking for a huge game here, already getting an elimination, Sancho. And it is going up against Team A30, essentially. The A team right now on their back foot, trying to survive as much as possible. Booga going up against Nick A30. What a great battle that we're seeing here. And it's just a matter of moments, man. Misty Meadows was a lot of hot spots here in the Super Bowl two, You at least had three teams contesting this POI. Now we're on board with one of the nicest guys in the world in a very tough situation alongside with his NFL pro, Trey Quinn, from the Las Vegas Raiders. And down he goes to the might of Puga. Yeah, I mean, you could be nice, but there is no friendships here, uh, especially when you're dealing with the World Cup champ. And that is going to be the end of the run for the A team. Puga's like, oh, man, that's rough. But hey, you know, someone's got to win, someone's got to lose. And today, the day belonged to Kurt Van Kurt and company. They are in a great spot. The Skull Rangers, mm -hmm. who have been a bit up and down, but in 14th yeah. place, middle of the pack. A big game here could get them into the top five, potentially. Who knows, though, uh, what we would end up seeing here. Here's Aiden now. This is that fight that we were looking at earlier at Dirty Docks, as Aiden challenging. This is going to be hard, man. Nate Hill is in that prime position to get first place, but this is a 28th place team there of Aiden and Eddie Vanderdoes. Kind of now Eddie Vanderdoes goes down. So it's actually Nate Hill who takes out his former streamer bowl one partner there. And now it's going to be Aiden that's going to hold this. So you're right here. They have to move as much as possible. But hey, it's OK. They're going to be able to kind of replenish most of it. And there they close it. And that was a prime opportunity to close it. It was just too much pressure. And that is the end of the run there for Team L dead out and done you know though i uh, honestly that was a great situation it ain't gonna happen showtime's down all oh, the humanity griffin and tifa are just gonna have to run away from this one he was not expecting it they were just lurkers sneaky beavers up on height waiting for the prime moment to push and they struck their opponent at the worst possible time and they'll get a point and they'll get that info Flex basically tampa Aaron Jones right there sent him out <laughs> and done so and I, I is that an interview curse I mean Aaron Jones had the vibe he had the sombrero this is huge man can Juju who I was surprised that Buga did not draft him when Buga had the second pick Juju slipped on down right into scope and scope we talked about just trusting the process looking for a return into FNCS glory and of course we can talk about Juju for days a social media star as well he, you know, trying to get in that Corvette, Corvette, to kind of hold on to first place. And Scope, the former partner of Tifu, as Ninja pointed out, is doing really well and being a great in-game leader. And I'm already looking and getting excited about this future in-game because it's going to be a lot of sand tunneling going forward here. As you see, Colossal Colosseum is doing his thing and holding on and getting those valuable points. And that is actually from Team Anaquiladores still in this fray, but we talked about Ops here. Ops Grawl channeling the great mongrel from the EU side of things, but Booga literally, literally in the shambles. He's the mayor of shambles town, and he's between two deadly teams who are looking, chomping at the bit to take out the World Cup champion. Yeah, if Sparkles gets the elimination, maybe that'll push up her team higher in the board. 
Uh, but for Ops, they've been a little quiet this whole time, the Huckleberries. But the fact that Booga still very much competitive in this. Ooh, he gone. tried everything he could. Try and try as you might for the World Cup champ. That is the end of their run. Beast mode is done here. And hold on to height is going to expend a lot of them. Last time we saw a single floor tarp hold from Clix. But as you see, Clix is basically right there and takes out Jake Burke. Jake Burke goes down from that trio of Somerset. Winter set now is gone. Maybe, perhaps, we'll definitely take a look. Juju picked up an Elim. Ronaldo picked up an Elim. The Elims are cooking up because we're getting down to the final moments here of match four, Golden Boy. And everyone's going to start to move as that circle pushes forward. The storm, the safe zone, giving everyone pause as they know they need to make moves happen here. And also, what happens on height? Look at Chap at the top left of your screen. He's actually going to be at that mid ground here, utilizing that bouncer to get to a safer area. Emad, they did instead of you recycling some of the builds that were available to them. They actually tarped themselves because they did not want to give up that layer of control. They're all right letting all of these players just scuffle, fight each other because so far so good here, especially if Click Clicks goes down. This could be dangerous, but it's Clicks. He's still alive. This is the first place team and he's got to do everything in his power because it is basically a hair that is between them and Nate Hill. They were at 70 points to Hills, and this is 74 points. Just once they get eliminated, if they're not careful, that could be it. I don't know how Clix is gonna do it. Clix is gonna have to clutch as much as possible. Ops picks up Elin, Aiden picks up Elin, but all everybody is watching, the target on his back, and it makes sense that it will come down to Clix, and he has to clutch or kick. And right now, he's looking pretty, and he's understanding that all he has to do is accrue points and make sure to stay away from Nate Hill. Now we're going to take a look at how everything's going. Stay away. He actually went for the fight. Oh, he got he Nate Hill. He went took out Nate he Hill. He got Nate Hill. That's oh, a, my goodness. That could have been the thing that solidified that Elon right then and there that may have got him the Sumer Bowl 2 championship. Someone please stop this man. He's one player. And if you do so, maybe the Streamer Bowl championship is in your grasp. Tariq Cohen looking onward. Zaytiel, he got knocked out earlier. He had no choice but to watch this all unfold as Clicks is doing Clicks things. Up on height, though, Emad, firm control up there. They're not going to give this one up. And I think the story and what everyone is focused on is whether or not NRG's Clicks could clutch this game. It's going to be huge because actually Emad team is in striking distance. Right now, it's going to cross old builds, and that's going to hurt Emad's team. They're not going to be able to cash in because now Clicks can essentially just snake his way through old builds and be protected from height. They're not going to be able to send down those beams and rack up and catch in on those Elims that this they desperately insane. need to catch up to Clicks. And the longer that Clicks stays on his feet, the more teams that go down, it's going to be a huge opportunity as Nipi goes down. And look at the look at Ops is cooking right now, but now Emad, you gotta start sending beams down oh. below. You gotta do all you can. And this might actually go to the heal off as now we're entering zone nine. Oh man, this is not good. Tifu's gonna be waiting down low. Everyone knows this is it. It's whoever has the most health, most health who can sustain themselves the longest. But I don't know if Clix is gonna wanna do that. I think Clix might just try and take this fight himself. Granted, though, it is going to be risky for him to do so. He's outside of storm, popping for 108, looking for another one. Another elimination there for Clicks. He gets himself one more. Don't do this, this Clicks. is unbelievable. Don't Someone do this. Someone stop him. Someone stop him. I dare you, because this guy has been on fire. Oh, oh my oh. God. 32 wants it. Get taken out. Do not leave this POV. Clicks is on fire. The streamer bowl champion is defending the, whole time. the crown. Defend the crown and hold on as much as possible. Does he go for it? Yes, he's gonna. Oh, he didn't he's get that. He's gotta get it. He got another, another one. What? He, but but he's so weak. He's so weak. He gets another elimination, but is it gonna be enough? Six players are gonna be remaining. He pops the minis. Emad and them are gonna be on high. Clicks is dangerously low. Tifu down to the low ground too. Tifu's also gonna be engaging in this one as well. Clicks oh, it, but finally down. gets taken out. Fourth place finish for. Clicks.
picks. Is it enough? We'll find out in a little bit. But for right now, Emad up on the high ground. Tifu down low. The who's who of Fortnite on Twitch here right now trying to hold this one off. Get this win, but it comes down to the final moments. Who has the health? The apples, and Emad baby. has the apples. He's going to be just pushing those through his gullet, waiting to just win this one outright because there's no <laughs> way that Nugs could do it. And victory royale for Emad and his squad. Yo, an apple a day keeps the storm away and gets you that victory royale. That was incredible. Yes. Yeah. He gave his team a lot of opportunities to, to, to prosper, uh, and it helped the Hills out substantially. That's oh why they ended up in fourth place. Well, did you, you see guys, that? Second and third were tied at oh. 78 points. The team, the Wash Boomers, rise in the ranks there. But oh man, as we continue down the leaderboard here, everybody's showing up and having a good performance here today, Kitty. Oh, everybody! And I did see. Oh, it was quick, but Somerset's team there in fifth too. I was keeping mm. an eye on her every single time I saw them in that lobby. They were popping off too. So, yeah. Wow, what a day! I'm. I